As I speak to you, coronavirus is spreading across the world. In the UK, the number of confirmed cases has been growing by exponentially by about 28% every day. If that continues by the end of March, the virus will have affected 68,000 people and by the end of April, the whole of the UK. Accordingly, the UK government <coughs> is now advising <coughs> Accordingly, the UK government is now advising everybody to stay at home except for ex essential work, shopping and a limited amount of exercise. So what is coronavirus? It's a virus that attacks your airways and ultimately your lungs, causing damage to cells, uh, inflammation and producing mucus, both of which restrict the useful volume available for you to breathe. As I understand it, it's similar to pneumonia, but where pneumonia affects part of one of your lungs, coronavirus in the most severe cases can affect all of both of them. Now the job of your lungs is to put oxygen into your blood which can then be pumped around your body um, and used for aerobic respiration where glucose from the food that you eat is reacted with oxygen from the air you breathe to produce carbon dioxide, water and the energy that you need to live. So if your body's not getting enough oxygen it's going to really struggle to keep you alive. Now a ventilator is a device that pumps air into your body, typically with extra oxygen. In the most severe cases of coronavirus, a patient will need to be intubated. This means inserting tubes um, into the patient's airways, which are connected up to a ventilator, which will breathe in and out for them. However, thankfully, most cases aren't this bad. The patient can breathe in and out by themselves. They just need help getting sufficient oxygen, air, in, into their lungs to keep them alive for long enough for, the white, for their white blood cells to defeat the virus. So these patients can use a much simpler ventilator design. So the device that I've made that I'm going to tell you about now is an extremely simple positive pressure ventilator that runs off of a compressor and has additionally on the output a humidifier which increases the amount of water vapour in the air and that they're breathing, stopping their lungs from drying out. And additionally, you can add um, various essential oils and things and medication to the water. Uh, so I'll talk you through the device now. <coughs> so there are essentially only a handful of parts to this. So you've got a compressor. Now this is a reciprocating compressor, there's a piston in here which the motor drives backwards and forwards which with a couple of one-way valves <clears throat> draws air into the cylinder and then blows it out under pressure into this cylinder below. Um, air from the cylinder is then comes out through a pressure regulator which I've got set about five bar um, comes out through this hose through this tube in here through this tube in here through a valve which I can adjust to um, 
restrict the flow rate of air coming from the compressor into this setup here. Um, this valve additionally is just a gate valve which allows me to close it, completely open it or close it. So here we've just got some push fit, some 15mm push fit um, pipe with a equal T and a stem elbow on which is mounted a balloon. I'll tell you the reason for that later. Output from here goes into some poly tube, which then comes up around the back, connects in here to a little spiral of slightly smaller tubing, which has a load of holes pierced into it so that the air which comes in under pressure can bubble up through the water, picking up vapour from the water and additionally any essential oils or medication that you add to it so for example here's some of the things that i've got to try so it's eucalyptus oil there tea tree oil and peppermint oil all of which have favorable reviews online which you can read for yourself um, additionally um cloves Clove oil is supposed to be beneficial, it's in old best oil. Um, and thyme, people also say good things about thyme. But I'll leave you to read up for all these things for yourself. So, I'll now show you how this works. So if I open this valve here, the balloon starts to inflate. You can see the bubbles coming up through there. If I put my thumb over the pipe you see the balloon inflating that's pressurizing the air in the system i can now breathe breathe the air I'm taking in a good amount of air and which because it's at pressure fills my lungs to maximum capacity turn that off now now the thing about this system because it uses a balloon it's using the balloon as a essentially as a pressure regulator as a safety valve to ensure that the pressure of the air going into your lungs is never more than the pressure that a balloon can take now if you think about it you can blow into a balloon until it's so full that it bursts. So that means that the balloon bursts before your lungs do. And that happens at around 60 centimetres of water, or which is roughly the same as 60 millibar. That's a very low pressure compared to the sorts. That's an extremely low pressure compared to what we've got in the cylinder which is compressed to 8 bar so you can see with this really simple setup we've been able to reduce 8 bar in that cylinder to only 60 millibar or less than 60 millibar which is a safe pressure for your lungs to breathe um, most CPAP machines for instance um, have a maximum pressure setting I think of 30 millibar um, and this is because not only are you it's a constant pressure so you're breathing in at 30 millibar but you also have to breathe out against it so it's not that that's the limit for what your lungs could take um, 
but that's because that's what you've got to work against and any more than that it's just uncomfortable whereas with this you're breathing in the pressure supplied through the tube but you're breathing out against atmospheric pressure which is much easier so therefore you can take the air in at slightly higher pressure than you could with a CPAP machine and that's it so it's not in its simplest form a ventilator is not a complicated device at all it's actually extremely simple and what I wanted to show here is that you can make one that's lung safe um, using a handful of components you can buy in B&Q so um, yeah good luck go and experiment for yourself um, but whatever you do never breathe the air directly from that cylinder because it is a far higher pressure than your lungs could possibly take and you really injure yourself um, so go experiment and let's see if we can develop this idea further to produce a simple pandemic ventilator that can be um, easily rolled out across the country even the world easily rolled out across the country to help the vast majority of people whose um, reaction to coronavirus is you know mild to moderate but the most severe cases would still need um, a more elaborate ventilator design that could breathe in and out for you so thanks very much and good luck